So, what do you think of my gravy boat navy? Whoops. You wanna know the best thing about my gravy boats? They were a present from Henry for Boxing Day. Oh, I'm sorry you're not more familiar with Canadian holidays. On Boxing Day, bosses give their employees gifts. Henry's was way overdue. What am I leaving out? Nothing. Well, except that I haven't asked Henry about celebrating Boxing Day, and he doesn't know that he bought me the gravy boats for $7,000. Call Henry. I'm not ready to... Oh, hi, Henry. Um, what do you think about Boxing Day on Fetch? You think it's a good idea? Get my mouse assistant to work out the details? I think an apology would be appropriate from you right now. Boxing Day celebration on Fetch. Rough Orange Crush Ruffman versus Whipped Cream McGee in a boxing match? Chat! You entered me into a boxing tournament? I don't know how to box! Although the guy's name is Whipped Cream. What does he look like, Blossom? Life was missing its mystique. My squeaky toys had lost their squeak. And then, out of the blue, I saw the phone, and bam! My destiny was calling me. Pitched my vision for a show. They loved it, thought I was a pro. They got my contract back to find to their alarm, a dog had signed. Oh, I like that name. I didn't wait to renovate, found six contestants, all were great. And now I'm on the road to fame. I've got a game show and its name is... It's very catchy. It rolls off the tongue. And uh, Jack probably should have stuck with the bicycle. Here come the contestants now. Her grandfather is eating roasted tarantulas. Ugh. Tied for fifth place, it's Emmy. He hates radishes. He hates cheese. And he's tied for fifth place, Mark. He learned to sail on a sunfish. Backing into fourth place, Jay. She loves cold soup when it's gazpacho. In third place, Ruby. She can make the front of her body look like the back of her body. Okay. In second place, it's Shreya. He loves the smell of fried chicken. And he loves the smell of first place, Marco. <laughs> Hi, Fetchers. <laughs> Hi. What's, what's wrong, Ruff? Welcome to Fetch, the only show where whipped cream is bad. Very, very bad. No, whipped cream's Wait, good. I like to eat that. What's wrong with whipped cream? Oh, 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 not today, it isn't. Chet entered me into a boxing tournament. Me, Ruff, Orange Crush Ruffman versus Whipped Cream McGee. Look at this guy. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, why do they call him whipped cream? Whipped cream turns his opponents into whipped cream. Oh. I need oh, help. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Help is what I need, and help is just what I'm gonna get in challenge number one. Yeah. This is Tom. He's a boxer and a boxing trainer, and he's waiting for Shreya. Hi. Shreya, your gloves are hanging next to the window, and your full boxing outfit is under those gloves. So go. Yeah. I just picked the biggest gloves I could find. Bye. Bye, Shreya. Good luck. Now, I'm probably going to need more than boxing lessons to prepare me for my first heavyweight bout. I'll need some serious protective gear. I'm going to need some serious engineering. I'll need some challenge number two. Yes! This is Dr. Kim Blair. He's a helmet designer and an engineer. And he is waiting for Mark and Marco. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you need to know is in that mailbox. So, gentlemen, go fetch! All right, good job. As determined by the Fetch 3000, Ruby, Emmy, and Jay are staying behind in the studio today, but they'll be eligible to win points during the... Halftime Quiz Show! All the contestants will have competed for the same number of points by the... Grand Finale! For the three kids out on the challenges, up to 100 points are at stake in the Triumph Tally! So what are we waiting for? Let's see how things are working out with Shreya. Oh, it's a pull door. Thanks, Ralph. Hi, are you Tom? Oh, yeah, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Shreya. Ruff sent me here. Right here. Where'd you get those? Um, Ruff gave them to me. 
Is that rough on your t-shirt? <laughs> There's no arms, no legs. Whoa, what's with the insults? Are we ready for a little boxing workout? Sure. These gloves gotta go. You know that much. These are big as you. Uh, big? Now we're gonna start out with just a little run. A little right? run? Just one mile. Okay. Does that sound good? Wait, a mile? Just one. All right, Shreya. It's a quick mile, start slow. Okay, it looks right, like running's relax. part of boxing training. Let's go, everybody. Yeah. Just enjoy it. Okay. So how does running help with boxing? Well, it's good for your cardio. What do you mean by cardio? Cardiovascular. It's your, it's your heart, your breathing, your lungs. You gotta get your heart in good shape, your lungs in good shape, just like you do your legs and your shoulders. The thing about boxing is you're out there by yourself. You can't say, oh, I'm tired, I gotta stop. Because you can't stop. You gotta be mentally tough. Mentally tough's a big part of it. To me, this is nothing better than a boxing workout. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, I'd really love to keep running, but I gotta check out on the other challenge. And Blossom, can you hit that button, please? Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Smart people are here. Kim. Hey, yeah. Kim, you should be able to help. Hey, are you Kim? I am Kim. You think you can help us design something to protect Ruff? I think I can. I'm an engineer and I design a lot of sports equipment. I'm counting on you, Kim. My life is really important to me. Have you guys ever thought about what happens if you hit your head really hard, like riding your bike or inline skating? It could crack open. It can crack open. Well, then it could crack open, what? Maybe or... get a concussion. Concussion? And do you know what causes concussions? No. As an engineer, we like to build models of things to explain things or to design new things. So we have a little model here. We have a clear plastic head. We filled it up with water because your brain actually has a lot of water in it. So we've put this egg in here to represent a piece of your brain that's close to the surface of your skull. And what can happen is, is if you fall, your brain moves up against the inside of your skull and can get bruised, just like your skin gets bruised if you fall. Bruised? I don't want to get my brain bruised. That can cause things like headaches and dizziness and can be permanently damaging. So let's just see what happens if you fall without a helmet. What are you doing? Wow! Oh. Sweet biscuits! What did you do that for? I don't want to do this fight. So look what happened here, guys. The brain has definitely sustained damage from that fall. And the skull, you notice, isn't even broken. So now we've added a bicycle helmet. A helmet, yes, that's what I need. We have the same model, we have the skull, we have it full of water, we have the egg inside. Now let's see what happens to the brain when we fall. Looks like the helmet broke. Oh great, that's probably gonna cost me another 50 bucks. That's right, during the force of the impact, the helmet cracked and that helped absorb some of the impact so that your brain's not damaged. It didn't break at all. Kept the head safe. Kept your head safe, kept your brain safe. All right, guys, I got somebody I want you to meet. Let's go meet Bob. They're gonna get help from yep. someone named Bob, so let's check in on Shreya. Grab your rope. Jump rope, ha! Finally, something I'm good at. And just think, Ruff's home sitting on the couch eating potato chips. We're out working out, and that's what you look like when you sit around eating potato chips. Hey, cut that out! I am sensitive! Good job. Shreya. Oh, she's pretty good. Shreya. Oh, fancy. See, now I can't even do that, Shrek. You've been holding back. Okay, stand back, everybody. My face. That is Bob. It's a dummy. Well, Bob's a strong, silent type. We're going to use Bob to help us learn how to build good head protection for Ruff. This is going to represent the fist that hits Bob. <laughs> Apparently, Bob was wearing a wig. That's gotta hurt. Absolutely. Both the front of the head where he got hit and the back of the head where the head hit the ground. Oh, I've only been worrying about my face. I didn't even think about the back of my head. You guys remember what we saw with the egg inside the skull, right? Well, we can't see inside Bob's skull. So we have these little packs of mustard that Ruff sent us. Thanks a lot, Chet. And we're gonna place these on the front and on the back of Bob's head to see how hard Bob gets hit. Ow. Oh. Ow! Oh, oh, I'm gonna be sick. Blossom, where's your litter box? Let's check out the damage. Why do we always have to oh. have disgusting episodes on this show? Speak to me. Split Whoa. the head in the Went front everywhere. and the back. So, how do you think we're gonna protect Ruff? Helmet. All Maybe right. like a face guard or something. Or a uh, force field, perhaps? Let's go build something. All right. Something very soft and protective. Ooh, Bob. That's awful. All right, now we're gonna learn how to punch. Oh, good. Okay. 
Actually, I'm not really looking to learn how to punch. I I'm looking to learn how to avoid a punch. Preferably all of them. Chin down, eyes up. Keep this up here. This is gonna protect you. We'll start with the one, two, three. Okay. One is just a jab. Everything comes from your chin and back. Blossom, spar with me. I need a partner. I need to learn how to do this. Two's an overhand right. Wait, we're on two? I don't think I've got one yet. Now, let's do the three. Three, there's a third? So I go one, two, and my three. Just a hook. Yeah, it's just a hook. Bang, bang. Excellent. One, two, three, and we're gonna move on to something else, all right? Go. One, two, three. Excellent. High five. Good job, Shreya. Huh? All right, guys, so let's start our build phase by taking a look at what we learned from the helmet before. Mm -hmm. What parts of the helmet do we Some see? Some pads. Some soft pads. The hard outer shell. Hard outer shell, that's very good. And what else? And that might be like some styrofoam. Very good picks. The soft padding is primarily for comfort. The hard outer shell is to help spread the load at the impact. So if you hit something very, very sharp, it helps spread it out over a wider range of the material inside. So the hard shell spreads out the force so there's not as much force in any one place. Gotcha. And the foam inside is there to help slow the head down. The slower you can bring the head to a stop, the less damage you're going to do to your head and the brain inside of your head moving around. Is that kind of like if someone were to jump out of a building, like firefighters, they have like that big blanket which slows their fall so that they don't get hurt? That's exactly the same principle. So the more gradually something slows down, the less damage is done. The foam in the helmet, like a firefighter's blanket, helps you come to a stop more gradually than if you hit the ground without any protection. So let's go over and take a look at a machine where you can test some of these materials and see how effective they are. Yes, um, test the materials, please. All right, guys, so what we have here is a drop tower. We put our helmet on here, and then we literally drop it so it goes flying down to the ground and crashes on our test pad. When it crashes on our test pad, the instrumentation that's in here measures how quickly it slows down. And we measure that in a unit called G's, or multiples of the acceleration of gravity. So what do you think our goal is? To uh, slow the helmet down so that it has a slow impact. Right, that's exactly the right. slower the impact, the oh, less the force man. on my head. Oops. That was a drop with no pads of 232 Gs. Is that good or bad? The lower the Gs is better, and that's going to protect your head better. We've got to lower these Gs, preferably to zero. Maybe, like, try this. I love these. I freeze them and eat them. I don't protect people's heads with them rough. Ah! <laughs> so cool. Jews went everywhere. 183. It went down from no pads. All right, foam. now we're going to use some foam. What do we got? That was 158 Gs. Well, that's a lot better than a popsicle. Bubble wrap? Oh, I love bubble wrap. 227 Gs. Okay, we're going in the wrong direction, people. Oh, a balloon! It might work really good, but it'd probably be like a one-time use type thing. 114. But we probably want something that'll stop a second punch. Once the balloon pops, it's not so effective. It wasn't very loud. 94.6 Gs! The folded up sheet looks like it's the best bet! So I think we have a challenge ahead of us to build a helmet. Let's do this! But first, we're going back to Studio G! Here we are with Jay, Emmy, and Ruby, ready to earn some points of their own during the Halftime Quiz Show! All right, let's brush up on the rules, shall we? 50 points are available. You have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. 10 questions available at five points apiece. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Then let's do this! What is Kim's job? He's an engineer. He designs helmets. He designs sports equipment. Yes, excellent. An injury in which the brain bumps against the inside of the skull is called what? Concussion. Concussion. Yes. How far is the run Tom and Shreya go on? A, one mile. B, two miles. C, five miles. A, A, A. Yes. In the model, the fetchers used to design their helmet, what does the bowling ball represent? A punch. Yes. Name one punch Shreya doesn't learn. A, the uppercut, B, the hook, or C, the jab. A, the uppercut. A, the uppercut. Yes. Name one of the insulting things Tom says about being the boxing challenge. That's your fat ouch potato. All right, fine. What is the purpose of the hard plastic shell on the bike helmet? To, to, to spread, spread out, out the shock. 
Yes, excellent. The foam in the bike helmet is designed to A, speed up the impact so your head comes to a stop more suddenly, B, slow down the impact so your head comes to a stop more gradually. There's no C. Which one is it? B. B. Yes, excellent. True or false, Marco and Mark measure acceleration in units called Fs. False. 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 Jeez. Yes! Which of the following materials did Mark and Marco not test? Pipe cleaners, balloon, bubble wrap. Pipe cleaners. Yes! Ten out of ten! Yeah! Ten out of ten! That's 50 points! You knocked out that quiz show! Yeah! TKO! Awesome job! Man, I'm getting pumped up. Back to round two with Shreya. Will she be up for the challenge, or will she go down for the count? What's the speed bag? What's the speed bag? Speed bag's it's for eye-hand coordination. All right? Just hit it like that. Okay. Oh, watch it there. It's frustrating. Very okay. frustrating. Um, Relax. Catch 3000, my speed bag attachment, please. All right, let me try it. Ruff couldn't even reach this, could he? I can reach it just fine, provided the Fetch 3000 lowers it. Don't go too I high. You I was klutzy. No, you're not klutzy. Ruff's klutzy. Hey, Tom, you stop making fun of me or I'll, I'll, I will I will ask you to stop yet again. Hey, Tom, you're going to lose me points here. I know. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to hit this bag because I'm angry. Ah. Oh, my nose. <laughs> Last time I did a cold pack. Need to get this. You'll get it. There you go. Do it again. Excellent. Now, we'll get you better at it, but I want to show you something else. OK, cool. All right? Now it's time to build my helmet. We should pick the materials with less Gs, because that means it slows down the impact, so there's less force on the head. OK, what do you want to use as maybe the hard outer show? Ding, ding, ding. Wait, are you guys suggesting that I wear a garbage can on my head? Can we cut it to about here? Yeah. And like the sheet, because it went down to 94.6 Gs. Sheet? Yeah. Foam seemed to be very sturdy. So those were our two best materials. Maybe we could like layer it, like we have the sheet and then we could have a thin layer of foam. Okay, so we're gonna take the garbage pail, we're gonna line it with a sheet with a layer of foam. Layer. We could have the, sh the next layer of the sheet kind of go like this. Double layer of sheet, even more protective. I like it. So that it protects the sides too. Start building. Uh, oh, I think we off. need a way to like, strap it on. Yeah. Yeah, you need a good strong strap. Cool. Or a balloon, I guess, would also work. Wow. Well, at least I won't look ridiculous. <laughs> uh... All right. Should we see how it works? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, put it on him. Let's hit him with a bowling ball. Why not? You can do it, Bob. Ah! Uh oh. Oh, oh Bob. Wow. Uh what happened? Let's see if we can get him up and see how he is. It seems as though the helmet was tilted like this, so his forehead was exposed as opposed to it being like this. You may want to think about that and do a little more work on it. Yes, please do think about how not to expose my forehead. All right, this is our power punch time, right? This is a heavy bag, and it moves around. Fetch 3000, heavy bag attachment, please. You know, the good thing about punching bags is that they don't hit back. See? <laughs> I want you to just throw jabs at it, right? Walk around the bag. Just do this. You control the bag. Go in the bag. Control you. Hoorah! 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 Ha ha! Go get it. There's the one-two combination. Good. One-two. There you go. That's it, Shreya. Good. Excellent. Good. Just try one-two ten times real quick. One-two. There you go. One-two. One-two. Nice. Look how quick she is. Excellent. All right, good. Now we're going to move on to something bigger and better. It looks as though we don't have enough protection on the front. We could line the inside of our helmet, just like where there's bare plastic, and then cut holes in it, and then you can wear these. I'll wear a welding mask. Whatever works. It fits perfectly. Let's put a strip of tape all along the strip of foam. OK, more foam. I like it. Can't use enough foam, in my opinion. Looking good, Mark. Yeah. Looking wow, like you're from another planet. And we're good. Let's go and test this. Look at that. Hey, that looks much better. Let's see what happens with this one. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? We're good. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Let's see what happened. Looks like the chin strap kept oh! it on. Let's keep our fingers crossed, folks. Mustard intact. <sighs> no mustard. Success, guys. Hey, guys, over here. Bruh. Hey, Ruff. 
Great job. We've got just one more test, okay? What is it? You have to take Bob and the helmet down the block to the ring. Okay. All right, let's go. Thanks, thanks Kim. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, guys. Tell Ruff good luck. I will. Kim, thanks a lot. Because if this design fails, I am toast. Or even worse, whipped cream. All right, listen up now. This is yours. Big moment for Shreya. What's it for? Bigger moment for me. We got a, um, we're gonna have a little boxing match. Well, we're gonna put everything together. That's right. Everything you learned today. Wait, I'm gonna fight? You're gonna fight. I'm gonna be right there with you, all right? Rough. Don't worry, Shreya. I have faith in you. You've been training so hard. I know you'll do great. Let's go get it. I'm gonna watch my entire life flash before my eyes now. You can do, all right? I want you to go get him. Hey, climb up in there. Oh. oh, it's the dynamic helmet designing duo, Mark and Marco. That helmet, there's mustard packs in it. You gotta bust the mustard you Gotta packs. bust that mustard. There's mustard? Yes. Go to the face, right to the head. Bang, 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 bang. bang. It's only three rounds. Bust the mustard. Bust that's, mustard. That's your goal. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. Give me some go. heavy punching here. Yes! Shredder! The Shredder! Ooh. 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 A double oh, punch yeah. to the throat. Another yeah, right. Get him. Look! Here's the mustard and down goes Bob in round one. Let's see the front. Kids at home, please only box with a dummy. Go, I go. And now we're back in. Here comes Shreya with a left. And a right. And another right and a left. And Bob's goggles are knocked off his head. Shreya is laying the punishment. Oh! In the second round. <laughs> I don't understand. He hasn't thrown a punch yet. All right, listen. I want you to go out and step to the side, right? Walk out, hook him, bang, right down the pike. Okay. All right. Oh, sweet biscuits. Mustard. There's the mustard, Bob. Congratulations. I hope you're proud of yourself. It is. Since you're the champ, you got a little belt for you. Oh! Hey, cool belt! Wait a minute, do I get one of those if I win? You did a nice job. Thank you so much for teaching me how to box. You're very welcome. I enjoyed it. Keep we'll it up. See you back at Studio G, Ruff. Come I'll on, see you guys. back at Studio G, Shreya. Mark, Marco, maybe you can, you know, bring the helmet. <laughs> Might help a little. <laughs> All right, coming back to Studio G. They're still standing, even though Bob isn't. It's Mark and Mark. Yeah! Yeah! How's it going? Okay. And winner by knockout, the French featherweight champion of the world, Shrew! Yeah! Betchers, looks like we're going the distance in this contest, because it's time for the Triumph Alley. We start with Mark and Marco. For systematically testing your materials and coming up with a helmet design that could stand up to the force of a flying bowling ball, 85 points! <laughs> but Bob didn't quite make it through the third round. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to deduct 10 points from you guys, Ooh. leaving you still with a very respectable 75 yes, points. Yes, nice. 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 Now, Treya for pushing yourself to the limit. You can run, you can jump, you can punch, and you can get 85 points! Yes, yeah. And for being a professional mustard buster after three rounds with you, Bob was down for the count. I'm giving you another 10 points, leaving you with 95 points. Good job, Trey, you. So, uh, yo, is that all the points a dog can give? No. Yo, Adrian, what time is it? <laughs> Bonus points! Today's five bonus points go to the fetcher, who jabbed, hooked, and power punched her way to boxing glory! Shreya, with 100 points, you're today's daily winner! Now, Shreya, in this corner, weighing in at 252 pounds, I have giant garbage can helmet A. And in this corner, weighing in at an identical 252 pounds, giant garbage can helmet B. Under one helmet, there's a knockout of a prize. And under the other, 
something almost as good as a used mouth guard. What's it gonna be? A or B? I think I'm gonna B for boxing. Oh, yeah. B yeah, for yeah, boxing, I, I like it. Then, Shreya, your prize is in the corner behind the fence. Go back there and grab it. I didn't know we had a bench. Oh! What is it? Bench! What is it? What's oh. up? It's a rough, rough, and inflatable butt bag. And I, oh, ah! oh, oh, man, look at me just lying there. <laughs> okay, Fetchers, so ends another, and maybe the last episode of Fetch with Rough, Rough, and... Don't oh, say that. Yeah, you're going to be fine, Rough, Rough. Bye, you're guys. Gonna be fine. I'll see you in the emergency room. <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm the canine heavyweight champion of the world. As soon as I got in the ring wearing this helmet, Whipped Cream McGee couldn't stop laughing. He fell to the canvas and wouldn't get up. The ref counted to ten, and I won by technical knockout. And now I've retired from boxing, ending my career with a perfect 1-0 record. Blossom, who is it? <gasps> it's Whipped Cream McGee! He wants a rematch! Um, I think I'll let the bop bag handle this. I'll be under the fence 3,000. Hey, you want to learn more about making models? Let's dig a little deeper. As you can see, the egg is cracked and broke open. Sometimes scientists make models of humans, oh. so they don't have to use humans. The good thing about models is that you can test things out and learn from your mistakes. Then you can make adjustments and test yeah, your design yeah. again. Yeah. You wouldn't want to test a helmet with a real head, would you? <laughs> and if you want to dig even deeper, go to pbskidsgo.org. Okay, one last thing. Not only do I host my own television show, but I have a fantastic website, too. Check it out. It's more fun than turning round and round in circles before a nap. PBSKidsGo.org.